Hi everyone, Carol here. Today I'm here to share another Shabalicious Design Team project with you. Um, first I'll just show you some of the items that I used. In the laces I used this one. It's very pretty. Yeah, I cut myself last night. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I used some pieces from this beautiful uh, lace and for this one I cut it apart and used um, both this section actually that's the only section I used was this one very very pretty very delicate and I love the pink it's a very, very soft pink. I also use this beautiful tiny lace. I love this lace. One of Lily's um, beautiful um, Venetian masks in the white and silver. So romantic. I used um, some items from my stash as well. I used one of these sprays. I used a wooden filigree piece. I believe this is a Kaiser Craft. I used a, um, I believe, tile, wood tile. I used um, embossing folder and this same paper that I've been using, the uh, handmade mulberry paper. And I also used some of these wooden little uh, flowers. I believe these are from Studio Calico. Here. And some of the products that I used are of course my, um, my Versamark. Some uh, Stampinus Frontage in the shabby pink, gorgeous stuff. I also use the Frontage uh, Shaved Ice, iridescent uh, flakes. I use some uh, Martha Stewart Glitter Paint in the Antique Silver. I used some Lindy Spray in the Creme Brulee Cream and uh, Shimmers Shimmerings in the Baby's Breath. What I made is a shabby alarm clock for my niece who is a dancer. She's been into dance for quite a few years now um, and I know she'll absolutely love this. I um, once I started putting everything together, I, I intended to do something to the outside of the clock, but with all the pretty white and soft pink, um, I really didn't think it needed anything. Um, you'll see what I mean once I start showing you around. It would have been too much if I'd have done something to the actual outside casing of the clock itself. Um, so I guess we'll start right on top here. Um, first what I did is I draped a piece of this lace. It's got four um, scallops and it hangs down very pretty. It's just difficult from the angle I'm shooting but I'll try to take down my camera after and stand the clock up so you can see it as it is. Um, but yeah, then on top of that um, is where I put this beautiful flower from Lily's shop. I had no more to show you, so um, I love that that flower. I hope she gets more in. Um, here's the little the little word tile that I used, and I apologize about my voice, guys, but you know I've been battling with 
breathing problem for a few years now. So um, here is the other pieces that I used. Just uh, put it on top of the um, the bells, the ringers. Let me just zoom out a little bit here. Try to focus. That's not too bad. Um, so yeah, that's this side of it, and it's uh, you know when it hangs down. I did use um, that tiny lace around the back, around the back edge here, all around. And then on this side, I did the same with the draped um, scalp lace here, this piece on the bell. But this is where I uh, mounted the. Uh, the masquerade mask. Isn't it beautiful? Sorry about the lighting guys, it's so difficult when it's cloudy out. <laughs> um, but there's a mask. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. I want to keep it for myself. <laughs> um, so, let me just give this a quick wipe here. Um, as you can see in the back here is where I um, I use the embossing folder and I just cut a slit for the, the ring to pull off the back to clean inside if necessary or if something happened to fall off to re-glue it. I was going to seal it permanently but then I thought mm, uh, not a good idea. Um, okay so in the back I had also put an embossed piece of the uh, cardstock, and then I had one piece left of that big piece of lace that I used on my um, during our Christmas hop, the Tussie Mussie. It's the same piece of lace as this one, and um, that's where I used the silver Martha Stewart paint just swipe my finger across here and there to give it a little bit more depth um, and then I took the wooden pieces <coughs> excuse me I took the wooden pieces um, I used my uh, first mark and applied the uh, the frontage Let's see there on all of the tiny flowers, as well as, I don't know if you can see it here, let me just try to shake this, the wing there, there we go, um, then, wow, very difficult to film this, Seeing the bottom here. Let's see if I can turn the light away a little bit, maybe. You can see I cut out the word uh, dream with a um, diamond dies. Uh, the word dream here is right over here. And um, I put some frontage on that as well. And then this is where this is where I put the spray. And I put them at different um, uh, depths because when it's standing, you don't really see the stem piece or whatnot. And then I have my pretty little ballerina, and I sprinkled some of the shaved ice in the bottom there. And then around the top of the glass is where I used that pretty pink um, lace that I cut apart. And it just framed it beautifully. I love how that looks. And at the top, 
You can see them. See the dangles there? I also used uh, two of these pieces at the top. Cut them though at different um, at a slanted uh, grade for the uh, little pieces to hang down. Oh, it's so difficult to see. Let's see a little bit there. See, hang down over top of her head and on this side as well. Um. Yeah, there you go. It's so, so pretty and so, so feminine. I really hope she likes it. I'm sure she will because I absolutely adore it. Don't know, don't know how I will part with it, but I just hope my granddaughter doesn't see it first because she'll claim it for herself. <laughs> um, but I could always make her another one, right? Um, so yeah, that's my project. I will try to take the camera down now and give you some different angle shots. And we'll be um, also taking some photos to share. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Ciao. Okay guys, so here's a really quick view of the um, standing mode.